Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review and I reviewed this beer last year or the last year's batch of it and I, I really, really enjoyed it and I saw it in Beretta and I thought ooh, I've been wanting to try this for quite a while so I decided to pick up a can I'm not sure about the best before date because it seems to have been rubbed off somewhere so I'm really not too sure how fresh this is but going to be looking at the Beaver Town Bloody L, which is the Blood Orange IPA, clocking in at 7.2%, and uh, yeah, fantastic artwork once again from Nick Dwyer. Just every can looks absolutely beautiful. Going to be uh, popping it in my uh, new glass, the Wigan's Bear Craft Beer Festival glass, which I picked up as well. So uh, I'm breaking that one in, hopefully I won't be breaking it. Anyway, let's get this beer opened, whoops, and see what we get. Nice little bit of activity there on the can. And uh, just watching the Ubisoft or Ubisoft um, E3 conference as I'm recording this, and it was a racing game, and I was like, yeah, perfect time to get a beer review done. So then, beer in the glass. And that is a lovely golden colour. Maybe some slight orangey amber hues, but it is predominantly a golden colour. Not really hazy, but it's not exactly crystal clear either. Uh, carbonation seems nice and gentle. Be a port of about one thing's worth of a white head. And uh, yeah, looks really nice so far. Let's give it a sniff. The blood orange doesn't jump out at you, but you get that like sweet citrusy character that you'd get from a blood orange. It is primarily the hops that are in your face in this one. As that slight like fruit pastel sort of aroma to it. Sort of reminds me of the um, gamma ray in terms of its hoppy character. And um, lovely smell and beer, but that blood orange isn't really a strong character on the nose. But yeah, nice and sherbety as well. Slight dank, herbaceous tones in there as well. A little bit of pine. And it's got that sort of like quintessential Beaver Town aroma. Yeah, smells really good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. I get the blood orange a little bit more. Blood orange is one of the few fruits that I actually like. Well, the juice anyway. You do get that. It's a lot more dominant than the aroma, but again, it's not like in your face. Maybe some slight lychee and grapefruit bitterness in there as well. It's got this almost like slightly caramel malt aroma to it also. Lovely hot bitterness on the back end. It's not really sharp, but it's a somewhat strong bitterness. And 7.2%, alcohol is masked really, really nicely. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe this isn't exactly the freshest can. But I have been hearing, or I have been hearing uh, when this was released, that some people weren't too impressed with the actual blood orange characteristics of this beer. So I'm not sure how in your face that was initially. But a beer as it is now, still a lovely, lovely beer. Beaver Town are one of, for me, the most consistent British craft breweries. And um, yeah, I can't remember what I thought of that. I mean, I really enjoyed it last year, but I wouldn't be able to pick out flavours. Um, I'll put that link down below to the 2016 batch that I did. Or was it 2015? I can't remember. But this... I am getting actually a bit more of that, a bit more of an alcohol warmth on this one on the back end. 
but it works really nicely within the beer. Not gonna lie, not exactly, you know, blown away by this beer or anything. But what I am getting is a very solid, relatively well-masked, higher ABV IPA. So we'll pour the rest in, see if we get any other characteristics in there. Probably shook that up a bit too much. And there's still cars, so not in any rush to get back to that. Look at that, it's just constantly carrying on. Um, it's like a, a cream pie. Uh, yeah, that's just foam now, and uh, I'm going to leave it like that. So, the beer itself, yeah, look at that, lovely little, little bits and bobs at the bottom of the glass. It's definitely hazed up a lot more, I'd say. You get that lovely cloud in the middle of the glass. That's enough. And now that it's all in there, I am getting that slightly sweetened blood orange juice flavour. But again, it's not really in your face. If anything, more of a grapefruit tone has come into play. Yeah, very citrusy, very zesty in general. And that bitterness again has a slight licorice tone to it. Surprisingly complex, but... I don't know, I was hoping for maybe a little bit more of a blood orange character, because I am a big fan of blood orange. <laughs> but it's definitely in there. So it's not like it's off style. But I don't know, I don't remember this being as satisfying as last year's batch. But it's still a damn good beer. And in terms of a rating then, on the 2017 batch of Beaver Town's Bloody L Blood Orange uh, IPA, I'm going to give that a very solid 8 out of 10. Would I go out of my way to pick up another can of this right now? Probably not, but I would definitely pick it up next year. See if it's changed somewhat. Um, oh my god, my hair is terrible today. <laughs> when is it not? But um, yeah, it's a lovely beer. And once again, another high quality product from Beaver Town. So if you tried this one... And previous batches of this one. Uh, let me know your thoughts, opinions, how it compares. Um, again, take my opinion with a pinch of salt because I don't completely know um, the age of this can. It only really just appeared in Beretta. But as soon as I saw it, I thought I'd give it a go. So I had a 10 then on Beaver Town's Bloody Hell. Check out my previous review of this one. Check out my Beaver Town playlist. If any of my uh, friends or people I watch regularly have bre uh, reviewed this year's batch, then of course their reviews are down below. Check out Beaver Town. Check out Nick Dwyer. Beautiful artwork once again. And uh, yeah, check out my Beaver Town playlist. Thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.